This is a collection of images converted from 2D to 3D using the Leopix conversion app. The conversion app is available at convert.leopix.com and all images were taken by me, William Angel, at williamangel999 at hotmail.com. The Leopix converter is an online browser-based application. In my case, I use it with an Android tablet. This is a walkthrough of using the Leopix converter to create a stereo pair from a 2D image using the default options. You can create an account with Leo or you could sign in with Google. The next screen will have the upload image button but will also provide you with information on the formats and sizes and resolutions that you can use uh, for images that you want to convert. Okay, so now I've uploaded one of my favorite images and now I'm going to export it in, as a stereoscopic pair using the application's default options. All you need to do is leave all the other options alone and just press the export button to initiate the process. The export menu has two sections. Limited export and premium export. Limited exports are free, premium exports aren't. I've chosen from the limited export drop down menu the choice of a side by side parallel format, but I could have chosen a side by side cross eyed or an MP4 uh, animation. Now all you have to do is click on the Save button and the program will download the file in the selected format. This screen shows the result and the file has downloaded correctly. And here's the result. I have 25 more images in this presentation. If you have any questions about any of the individual images, I should be able to bring that image up from my Zoom terminal. A close-up of a runner in a marathon. I grabbed a single shot with a point-and-shoot camera back in 2011 and then cropped the image down to the close-up, which I then converted to a 3D stereo pair. Participant in a boxing demonstration at a street festival in Washington, D.C. in 2017. It was taken with a Nikon D200. I liked the expression of concentration on her face. Baby Chimp at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore, photographed in 2022. This was shot through glass. Chimps sometimes hold their poses long enough to get a stereo pair via the cha-cha method, but this stereo rendering was achieved via 2D to 3D conversion using the Leopix converter. Chimp feeding a baby at the Maryland Zoo, photographed in 2020. That's actually a male chimp who is feeding that baby. Again, it's doubtful that the baby would hold that pose long enough to do a 3D capture via the cha-cha method. Chimpanzee shot at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. The conversion program did a good job separating the chimp from the cage in the background and also did not render the chimp as a 2D cardboard cutout-like figure. Pelican at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. Again, this image illustrates some of the things that 
aren't well depicted using the cha-cha method. Reflections in water and the expected movement of the animal as it grooms itself. Staff member feeding the penguins at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. This image was converted with very good depth separation from the goose in the foreground hoping to get fed to the rocks in the background. The staff member's hands, one of which holds a fish, also stand out nicely from the rest of her body. Elephant at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. It's interesting how the elephant had twisted its trunk about and also how the 2D to 3D conversion program had given a strong 3D model to the elephant's head. Amusement ride at the Maryland State Fair. This would have been a difficult image to capture in stereo using the cha-cha method as the wheel was rapidly rotating. Three children enjoying an amusement ride at the 2018 Maryland State Fair. London Troubadour singing and playing the guitar in downtown London in 1985. I also like the depiction of the two people in the background with their arms folded. A fellow doing some impromptu drumming at Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Round Falls in Baltimore, Maryland. Depicting flowing water in stereo using the cha-cha method usually doesn't work very well. Dolphin at the National Aquarium in Baltimore. Again, it would be tough to get the water to come out correctly in stereo using the cha-cha method as opposed to a Leopix conversion. An orangutan at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. The original sky was blank, so I used another editor to insert a more interesting sky in the picture and then converted the result to 3D using the Leopix converter. Goldfish at the Rawlings Conservatory in Baltimore. Again, this is a subject matter not suitable for stereo depiction via the cha-cha stereo photography method. Resting flamingos at the Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. Again, ripples in the water aren't rendered well using the cha-cha method. This is the National World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. I thought that the converter did a good job of separating the people in the front from the fountain and the fountain in the middle from its background. Juggler Acrobat performing high up in Baltimore's Inner Harbor in 2018. It would have been great to have a, a 3D video camera so I could capture the motion of the uh, juggling in 3D and not simply uh, settle for a single shot that I then converted into 3D. But alas, uh, that's all my capability has been up to now. Young boy grabbing a piece from a large chess set. This image was shot with film and then cropped and converted from 2D to 3D. The image was taken at the Baltimore Book Festival in 2014. 
a young girl in the costume of Harley Quinn from Batman at the 2018 Halloween Fest in Baltimore. A night flash shot. Two people dancing together at a Baltimore Pier Jam in 2018. Again, this is not the kind of shot that you could capture in stereo using the cha-cha method because you know, the people are moving and their expressions are changing. Portrait of a Sphinx Cat from 2017. I like the way that the head of the cat was rendered in a rounded 3D fashion closer to the viewer with the background out of focus and more recessed. A shot of the Jones Falls Expressway in Baltimore as seen from the top of Baltimore's World Trade Center. The final image taken on March 31st is a depiction of a tugboat in the foreground and the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge in the background. Depicted along with the bridge is the cargo ship that collided with the bridge, causing it to collapse. The picture was taken from the Fort McHenry Park.